Hello and welcome to a brand new video. Today we'll be discussing the newest chapter of the Chojin X manga by Sui Ishida. But before we get to that, remember to like and subscribe for more anime and manga content uploaded straight to your YouTube feed. Alright so, the title of this newest chapter is Chapter 17, Pack Pack. We start off the chapter by seeing Nari, the snake Chojin, being interrogated by a new character named Seiko Kira, who is a lie detector Chojin, so she can tell when someone is lying. She confirms that Nari has a client who is most likely Johnny, and that Tokyo was targeted, and that she is not involved with Chandra or the mysterious Tower faction from a couple chapters ago. Ichiro Sato then replaces Kira for interrogating Nari, and he uses a really cool ability called Psycho Share, which allows him to imagine an object and share it with others. So, after sharing a terrifying image with Nari, she faints, and they don't get any new information because her mental fortitude was too strong. We then cut to Tokyo leaving school as he sees Monoma, who reveals she's waiting to go shopping with Ellie and Mobara. While waiting for Ellie, she reveals that she's been working as a keeper since the age of 10, and that she inherited her powers from her father and has been using them since around the age of 4. While talking, Tokyo mutters to himself that maybe he should be a keeper too. Momoma then says that it's his path to take, but that she thinks he'd be a great keeper. Then a job comes up as Ellie is arriving, so Tokyo offers to take Ellie to the store instead so he can look good in front of Momoma. When they arrive at the store, Ellie is shocked with how big it is and starts running around the store pointing at things and asking Tokyo questions until she finds a rice cooker. Tokyo then suggests that they should look for recommendations, so they go looking for an employee. While looking, Tokyo gets a Chojin signal, and they spot a package Chojin, who looks fucking ridiculous. The two then see some people trapped in packages, so Ellie says they'll beat him. So Tokyo thinks about how Momoma will praise him if he handles this himself. So he says he'll take this one to Ellie, and proceeds to get captured because boxes don't move. With Tokyo now captured, Ellie thinks of what to do since her powers could light up the clothes around the area. Then, she remembers something from that morning's training. You don't need a cannon to get rid of a wasp's nest. So, she sends out smoke from one finger and lights the box Chojin's ass on fire freeing Tokyo and the other victims. Then, they meet a freelance Chojin Keeper named Seppuku Edomara, who might have been trapped as well. He's not really visible. He then gives the two two certificates which can be used at the store as thanks for dealing with the Chojin. So Tokyo and Ellie go get something to eat. As they're going home, Ellie thanks Tokyo for bringing her there today and that it was a lot of fun. They then get on the train and Ellie falls asleep while Tokyo sits there thinking about how Ellie is and if Azumo was right when he said, you'll get left behind by Oda in the previous chapter. We then pan out of Tokyo and Ellie and see that Ririka, the paper Chojin, is sitting right next to them on the train. Now, this chapter was fun with Ellie reacting to the store in the package Chojin fight, but there's two things I want to focus on. First thing is that it seems that Tokyo has a crush on Momoma, who is the best girl by the way, and that it seems pretty interesting, and I'm curious to see what will happen later on. Maybe Momoma will get heavily injured or killed, and this will cause Tokyo to chaosify like Shiozaki did earlier. Then the second thing is how Ririka is on the train with both Tokyo and Ellie. Now, with Ririka and Ricardo tracking Tokyo and wanting to catch him for their client, who is most likely Johnny, I think it's pretty likely that he'll be kidnapped in the next chapter. It's interesting because Ishida's previous work, Tokyo Ghoul, also had the main character, Ken Kaneki, get kidnapped. I think Ellie will try to protect Tokyo like the staff at Anteku tried to do for Kaneki, but I think she will fail just like they did. So with this kidnapping plot point being set up, I wonder if it will be similar to Tokyo Ghoul's in any way. I don't think Tokyo's kidnapping and captivity will be as brutal as Kaneki's was, which set up Kaneki character for the rest of the story. From what we know right now, it seems like Chojin X isn't going for the same kind of story 
story as Tokyo Ghoul, which is why I don't think Tokyo will be tortured as much as Kaneki was, but that's subject to change once Tokyo actually gets kidnapped. So we'll have to wait and see, I guess, until that eventually happens. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I would really appreciate it if you liked, subscribed, shared, and left any criticisms you have for me or this channel in the comment section as it can help me improve these videos. As always, peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.